Limousines and flashy things or ancient bottle of wine. I don't care nothing about it. Wow, yeah! Hey, how's it going, YouTube friends? I hope this finds you well and doing good. Because if you get sick, who's going to watch my videos? <laughs> that would be sad. <laughs> so, with that said, I am your one furry boy. Never! Still feeling a little bit under the weather, but I took some antihistamine today. Feeling really good right now. So, with that said, yes, you are watching The Never Show. The only show with lemon-scented limes, lest I forget. And the only show with a supernatural, super awesome third eye. I mean, why ask why? Yes, this joke is never going to get any better, but if you did, laugh, then thank you. And it's Wednesday again, my friends. I want to thank you all for being my YouTube friends once again. I know I say this every week, and I do mean it from the bottom of my kitty hot. Thank you for being there for me. Thank you for the great comments. Thank you for the likes and the views. I also want to thank you for clicking that subscribe button and that little bell icon because it's part of the YouTube experience and adding me to your YouTube experience. And with that said, um, you know there's no movies in theaters anymore, so it's VOD for me. So let's get into our movie download of the week, shall we? And today's movie is The Hunt. It is rated R. It is an hour and 30 minutes, which sort of satisfies my number thingy, but not really. It's an action horror thriller from director Craig Sobel, who did uh, Compliance. Uh, I have no real memories of Compliance, so I can't really remember if it was good or bad. I remember something about it, but it just kind of thing. Uh, Nick Cruz and Damon Lindorf did the writing on this. Uh, Nick Cruz writes for TV and Damon Lundorf. I can't think of anything off the top of my head that he's written that I like. And that includes um, Tomorrowland because Tomorrowland was kind of iffy. It basically stars uh, Betty Gilpin and Hilary Swank along with a bunch of other people who are basically cannon fodder in this movie. <laughs> and that's all you really need to know in the names here. There's a lot of people here. And... They all get demonetized horribly. <laughs> our production companies were Blumhouse Productions and our distributor here in the good old United States of America. God bless America. Land that I love was Universal Pictures. Special effects were done by Spectrum, so we won't be needing a fast forward this week. Really wish there was because... And now for my thoughts on the films. This is that movie from a while ago that got canceled. Because they were worried that other political people were going to see this and see other political people and do bad things because stuff. <laughs> and that's about as political as I can get because geopolitical things just drive me nuts. You know, it's frustrating. And this is pure satire and they cram it into your face hole. How do I describe this other than... A dumpster on a warm, sunny day where you can look up just as the sun is slowly sinking into the, you know, horizon and you can see the flies buzzing. It's basically bad people doing bad things because people got caught doing bad things. And here we are. It's very a preachy movie, and they try to throw this in your face as much as possible. I'm going to use the word politically correct. 
everything is super politically correct and it just feels ugh. and i want to like this movie because it's so high action it's hilariously funny in its things but this whole message that political correctness and all this stuff it just overwhelms you, the movie and you never really learn anything from this I feel like I lost brain cells watching this. Honestly, I'm stuck inside. I'm self-quarantined. I'm trying to wash my hands on a regular basis. And then I have to sit down on the couch in my robe and watch an hour and 30 minutes of political correctness. And I know that certain things aren't right to say. And I kind of take this with a grain of salt. But when everything is about that political correctness... It's just not my cup of tea. If you want to see something better, watch The Hunger Games, maybe. Or if you really want that, you know, weird kind of political movie, uh, The Purge, any of them will do. Basically, you get the same effect. And uh, Betty Gilpin, she's a great actor. Uh, I feel like she did good here, but... She doesn't really tell you anything that's going on, and she doesn't really for the plot of the movie at all, and it just was boring. I feel bored, and that's not a good thing when you're stuck inside, if you know what I mean. I want to see what CinemaSins thinks just because I feel like this movie is that bad, and I just want verification that I'm right, and if they can pick it apart even more and point out even more pointless crap about this, even all the better. (laughs) Uh, I feel like this is all the justice I'm going to give this movie So let's just go right into the inside The box score stuff For you guys who just want to watch a movie Because you're stuck inside Because you're self-quarantining Because you're trying to do the right thing It's a 6.5 on IMDB Which is a 50% So a little bit better than a 50% And it's a 53% on Rotten Tomatoes With a 66% audience score I can see why, Uh, but it's bad. It's the only saving grace is that the action in this film saves it from the utter mind-numbing boringness of it all and political correctness nonsense. Uh, I see this as a pass on TV just because I don't think they're ever going to show this on TV. No way. And what network... Tell me in the comments. Uh, I don't see this as a DVD buy. I've seen it once. Once was more than enough. I mean, I did see Cannibal Holocaust 1 and 2. And, you know, this was just another one of those memories where what has been seen cannot be unseen at this point. Uh, I think if you're if you're wanting, if you really want to see this on VOD, go right ahead. But try to pay less than what you think you can think it's worth otherwise i'm gonna pass it's a pass and with all that said if you like what you see in here make sure you click that like button more likes means this video gets shared elsewhere and that is ever so important with the now downgraded youtube algorithm at this time likes and views are how youtube shares videos so please like and share if you can And you remember, all comments 100% guarantees response. If I can help you in any way, please hit me up in the comments. If you're bored, if you need to see a movie, let me know. I can probably help you find something that'll help you pass the time. And you know I have to ask. I have an Amazon. I have a Patreon. It is not without your support that keeps this channel afloat. I don't know how I do it without you. Your donations are ever so important now more than ever. Thank you for your donations so far. And thank you for supporting my American dream. And with all that said, for a final time, because I can't stop saying it, because it's a huge running joke, and I'm trying to stop, but I can't help myself. If you want to see more of this nonsense, make sure you click that subscribe button and that little bell icon. Ring a ding ding. And I will see you all in the next movie review. Bye. I don't need diamond rings or high price suits that shine.
Ryan, we didn't get the keyboard, and I hope you see this so I can get back to you about it. Hit me up on Twitter.